a chemist was required, a physicist was required, a material science engineer was required. So that is how the innovation happens. So it is not that we need to teach all of our students, you know, all these different subjects, but we need to expose them to these areas. Given the increasing emphasis on the interdisciplinary projects and uh, teamwork in today's engineering landscape, how do you propose we strike a balance between imparting a technical knowledge and nurturing essential soft skills in the engineering education? And how can educators ensure that engineering graduates are well equipped uh, with a well-rounded skill set necessary for the success uh, in this contemporary workplace? For example, you know when I uh, used to teach at IIT Bombay. And uh, the companies that uh, we have been able to incubate, which have products and all of that, they are all highly multidisciplinary. You know, so the for example, we wanted to develop a cardiac diagnostic system that required the expertise of six different departments. You know, faculty coming from six different departments at IIT Bombay to actually come together and work on the technology that we could not have taught a student. You know, you could not have taught the student everything required to actually develop a product. Right. So the so, so the, the way we approach the problem is an electrical student will approach it from his or her point of view. Right. Now I would contribute to that project in terms of developing the entire diagnostic kit, the electronic part of the entire thing. A biotechnologist will come, you know, developing the antibodies, antigen, the coating, the platform kind of a thing. A mechanical engineer is required in order to analyze how this, uh, you know, we were developing a nano mechanical platform and the mechanics of it, a chemist was required, a physicist was required, a material science engineer was required. So that is how the innovation happens. So it is not that we need to teach all of our students, you know, all these different subjects, but we need to expose them to these areas. We need to provide them the ability to work in a multidisciplinary kind of a team. That sort of training doesn't happen in our universities often. You know, you work in, a, if I'm an electrical engineer, I would choose a problem which, which I would have made a small circuit and then, you know, but if I want to interface it to a sensor, right, you know, then I don't know how to do that. Therefore, you stop there. But then, you know, if only I go out of my comfort zone, I have this electronic component in order to do the diagnostic, the electronic part of it. But then I collaborate with somebody who is working on the other side of it. Then we work together, put it all together, and then we can actually make a product there. So therefore, the product-oriented research, anything that is an innovation, inherently becomes multidisciplinary. So I think providing those skills to the students as to how to build a team, how to work in a team, I think some of these are becoming necessary skills now uh, for the students. And uh, I think there's a lot of out of class uh, learning also that needs to be imparted to them. At IIT uh, Delhi, for example, we started these multiple immersion programs, you know, to the way the students go to, let's say, the next door we have uh, All India Institute of Medical Sciences. Students going and spending time in the All India Institute of Medical Sciences trying to understand, you know, how doctors function, what are their challenges, you know, what are the things they require in the surgery, uh, in the operation theatre. I think understanding some of those problems, the problem statement, and coming back and, you know, collaborating with people who are, who can provide those sort of skills, you know, that I may not have personally, and bring all of those teams together and lead the team towards uh, solving that problem. I think that sort of an approach is uh, very essential. So the institutions need to develop these immersion programs where they get to go and see what the problems are in those sectors. For example, agriculture. Now, how many of our engineers have exposure to the agricultural problems? And uh, not many because they never really get to talk to a farmer, get to spend time in the rural area. As a result, you know, their knowledge is all what they have studied in the classroom. And then with that classroom thing, with a little bit of training provided by a company, they get into a company and spend their lifetime without ever realizing the full potential of their innovation or other capabilities. So I think, uh, you know, this out of classroom kind of training, more and more immersion programs where we have students spending time at places where there are real challenges, whether it is industry or, or hospitals or farmers, or the rural area, I think that sort of a training is absolutely essential right now 
in all our uh, university kind of systems and you know that needs to happen now more and more